it's time to subtract decimals. Now, we really want to just remember that we got to line them up. So when you have a decimal number and you're subtracting a decimal number, this is not okay. We would want to make sure that the decimals line up exactly. Then we can subtract. Now, a lot of times you're going to see problems written horizontally like you see here, and some people will just do it horizontally. I am a very uh, visual learner, so I like to rewrite my problems uh, vertically. So I'm going to take 15.93 and I'm subtracting 7.31. Now, you'll notice the way I did this, it's kind of like there are lanes, right? And for subtraction and addition, really, there are. So we want to do that such that the decimal point lines up, right? That is also part of the lane. And now let's go ahead and just subtract. 3 minus 2 is, I can't even say the right numbers. 3 minus 1 is 2. 9 minus 3 is 6. 5 minus 7 does not work, so I'm going to borrow 15 minus 7 is 8, and then I just have 0. So my final answer is 8 and 62 hundredths. So the key really is just to line them up. So I end up with 19 and 3 hundredths minus 16 and 8 tenths. Now again, if we're talking about the lanes, I'm a big fan of putting in, I, some people call them phantom zeros. Um, and so I'm going to put a zero here just so that I have numbers in each of the lanes. And then again, let's make sure that our decimal comes down in the appropriate spot. And you notice I make my decimals really big, but that's just because I want to make sure I see it. And now we subtract 3 minus 0. Right? Again, I start right to left. So 3 minus 0 is 3. 0 minus 8, that does not work, so I'm going to borrow. So I eight, uh, 9 goes to 8, and that means I borrow 10, so I just throw a 1 in front. 10 minus 8 is 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. 1 minus 1 is just 0. So my final answer is 2 and 23 hundredths. Let's do, um, I think maybe, ooh, a couple more here. And we'll just kind of fly through them. But the big thing here is all about the phantom zeros. So you'll see here, and if it helps to put those lanes in, do it. There's nothing wrong with that. So these spots don't have anything. So I'm going to put my zeros in and here's my decimal point. So those should kind of be the starters. Do you need to fill in any phantom zeros? Bring down your decimal point. Now, zero minus two does not work and there's nothing to borrow. So think about instead of borrowing 10, well, we still could borrow 10. 90 is going to go to 89, right? Because I'm borrowing. You also, like, if that doesn't make any sense to you, you can say, great, I'm going to borrow 8 here, and then I'm going to borrow from 10 there, right? So we're just doing like a double borrow kind of a piece. And now I can say 10 minus 2 is 8, 9 minus 6 is 3, 8 minus 3 is 5, 3 minus 5, I have to borrow there, 13 minus 5 is 8. So 8 and 538 thousandths. Because at the end here, 1 minus 1 gives us 0. So let's do this 167 and 9,302 ten thousandths minus 78 and 392 thousandths. I'm going to put my phantom 0 in. And again, we've got our lanes. Especially if you are maybe a messy writer. You know, my handwriting here is not the nicest. The lanes might help you just keep your numbers lined up. And that's super important. So let's go ahead and subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2. 0 minus 2 does not work, so I borrow. 10 minus 2 is 8. 2 minus 9 doesn't work, so I borrow. 12 minus 9 is 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. 7 minus 8 doesn't work, so I borrow. 17 minus 8 is 9. 5 minus 7 doesn't work, so I borrow. And 15 minus 7 is 8. So final answer, 89 and 5,382 ten thousandths. So always good. We're going to do one more just real quick. Again, you can stop at any point in time, but the key is to just really keep your numbers lined up, keep everything in line, and write out your work. I don't know how many times mistakes are made because people try to do everything in their head. Right? Borrow. Write it all down. 11 minus 8 gives us 3. 8 minus 2 is 6. 0 minus 3, I need to borrow. Write it out. The less you try to do in your head, the more likely you are to not make a mistake. 
So 13 and 763 thousandths, final answer.